what we're looking at is compensatory patterns in this baseball player looking at a swing. So I'm going to have him take a nice easy swing. See how his body responds. I'm going to back it up. You just kind of watch any areas of congestion. See how his body hip turn, looking at the relationship of the knees, the hip, the foot. Now let's watch him hit one with a little bit more force and watch what happens. Big thing I notice is when he starts creating more torque on the body, you'll see his foot peel off the ground, more stress on that knee. And I'm seeing a little bit of a restriction there in the thoracic spine and the hips. If I back it up a little bit. And let's take a look at a different angle. Here's looking head on. Let's go ahead and watch him relatively easy swing. Looking at that foot. Watch what happens when he takes a harder swing. What we can see here when he's generating more force, you see that foot, front foot peel off the ground. You look at where his pelvis is pointing and where his shoulders are pointing. I'm looking for any excessive stress that might be placed a loss of balance, a little lack of control, and seeing if we see any of that. And we do. And so what I want to do is create a program that creates elasticity in that lower leg, in the hip musculature, in that thoracic spine, to make sure that knee is in a happy, safe place to function in. First thing, foam rolling on the back side of the hip, making sure that we improve hydration going up and down the back of the leg, the lateral part of the leg, and the calf musculature. Working the calf, finding spots, rotating, working through the tender points. And then we've got a little bit of what I call a 90-90 hip stretch, leg up on the table. He's gonna rotate his pelvis five times. Should feel it in the posterior hip capsule. should feel in the posterior hip capsule. We want to make sure we don't feel any jamming on the anterior side of the hip. should all be in the posterior side. His hands are on the pelvis. He's not rotating through the shoulders. He's rotating through the pelvis. Five rotations. And then he is going to take his opposite hand and reach underneath as far as he can, lengthening the whole back musculature. Five repetitions. And then we're going to have him do a T-spine matrix. We're going to do three repetitions in each position. Anterior reaching across, and then he'll go lateral reaching across. Rotation, head looking straight ahead. And then he is going to use the same side arms and laterally flex. We're going to make note of his body position. When we have restriction in the lateral abdominal wall, we'll often see the head lead first and the arm will actually flex at the elbow. We watch how he initiates his movement as he steps into it. His head is actually leading the way instead of that arm. We want to work on that and open up that abdominal wall. Rotation. And then combine the two. Lateral and then rotation. Then we're going to do a dynamic movement where we're gonna feed the tissue after we've opened it up using a med ball, a preload to explode. We're working on creating an environment load to explode that replicates similar to the batting swing. So we're actually looking at creating a similar motion after we've opened up that tissue. Preload, preload, explode. 